Hey guys, I had so much fun doing that Ozark Trail review and knife giveaway. I thought, what's on the market that's about $15, 15 to $20 in the kind of full size locking knife category? And obviously, I'm not going to get necessarily something like my EDC knife, which is Spyderco Delica. You know, $75, pretty expensive, pricey knife. But I was thinking to myself, you know, I was walking through Home Depot one day and I saw this knife, the Milwaukee Fastback. It's under 10 bucks. And I saw it and I was like, well, you know, I'm a big fan of the Milwaukee Fastback utility knife. I use this thing all the time when I'm working around the house, working on projects, whatever. So this has got to be decent if this is okay too. So then that got me thinking, well, what other companies make knives in the, in the inexpensive range? And so I bought a bunch of them and said, you know, let's, let's just do a big old review on all of them in one shot. And I'll do more detailed reviews later when I pick the one that's kind of like the best. And we'll start with that. So obviously I've got the Fastback, the Milwaukee Fastback. It's a uh, push button open, flip open, flip close, and it's got a wire pocket clip. Never really been a big fan of the wire pocket clip, but... I do use the pocket clip on the Fastback, and this is like way less robust than the one that's on this guy. So, and it's a lifetime warranty. See, stuff like that, you, you have to appreciate a, a common every man knife, 10 bucks, lifetime warranty. It kicks ass, it kick ass, you know, awesome. Um, I also saw two knives when I was getting the Milwaukee, I saw two knives by Coast. This is, these are big knives. The B3, the BX309 lock and the RX352 blade assist. So this is a, a, a flipper, not a flipper, a blade assist. It's got a little switch on it and I believe you can... They both have half serrations, which I think some of you may know, not a big fan of serrations on pocket knives. But again, at the price point, these are beaters and when you need to cut something, you need to cut something. The serrations on the assist is a little bit less doesn't really matter. Also next to the, the Milwaukee Fastback was this DeWalt folding pocket knife. This was at the same price point as the as the Mil actually I'm sorry this was uh, fifteen dollars at uh, so five dollars more expensive than the than the Fastback but it looks like it's a little bit more robust a knife. It's got a Tonto tip for piercing, is what it says. Stainless steel blade. I'll go over the blade material when I when I go through each individual knife. Obviously, you've got the Ozark Trail knife, the the epitome of beater pocket knife, under five bucks. You know, it, it's crazy. And then I got two blades from uh, Gerber, and really, this the extended blade is just a is kind of a honorable mention. And the reason why it's an honorable mention is for a long time I carried the first gen Extenda Blade. And for the size and compactness, actually a really good knife. Hard to beat, particularly when you put an Irwin blade in them. You can't hate on it, right? And, and it's so easy to hate on Gerber these days, but you can't hate on it. So that's in as an honorable mention. And finally, the STL 2.5 folding knife. This was a Gerber under 20 bucks. This was $15 as well. It's on the small side, so this barely made the cut. There was some bucks that were also available at um, Osh that I wanted to look at, but they were just too small. And obviously, I wasn't looking at any slip joints, so only locking blades. Assist open is fine. It, it doesn't matter. So let's tear into these things and just do a initial feelings on the construction, the operation, and blade material. Okay, let's run down the knives, starting with no particular order. The Coast RX 352. <laughs> there we go. This is actually a pretty hefty knife. This is the largest one out of the, the group that I got. It has two locks. It has a liner lock and then also a switchable lock, which seems to work just fine. It has serrations over the bottom third of the blade, and it is an assist opener. Uh, the deployment is actually pretty good for a for an assist. It's probably the best out of the group next to the fastback. Second, the cheaper little brother of the RX352 is the BX309. It's got a big old thumb hole for opening. It is a thinner handle 
then the assist open. The slabs are some kind of plastic, it's meant to mimic like a G10 handle. Not bad at all. I like the grip here. You get a very positive grip on this knife. And whatever your feelings are on jimping, these are some pretty aggressive divots on the back end and do give for rather positive control. This is probably the best knife out of the, out of the group. The DeWalt. Uh, they called it folding knife. The blade material, it has a little nub in here that can't, that is supposed to be some kind of opening assist. And it's possible that it's here because you need almost two hands to open this thing. It is very stiff out of the packaging. And with a, just the feel of the knife, it, it feels like their company. It feels like a drill. It looks like it has a little glass punch here, uh, an emergency glass punch if you needed that. Serrations on a little less than half of the blade and a tonto tip. It is a liner lock. The liner lock is, is as difficult as the knife is to open. It, it is so a very hard liner lock and a very stiff to open lock, uh, lock or, or blade to deploy, I find is unsafe. <laughs> I, I don't like it when a blade is very difficult to open because I feel like I'm going to lose control. It is highly likely that this will get better with use. Although I'm not going to use it because I don't like the look of it at all. The Fastback, which was the reason why I did this video. Fairly robust handle. It, it fits, your, it fills your hand. Uh, this bottom swell here really, really fills your hand. This is probably the third longest out of the group, but uh, probably the best. It has the best deployment um, for, for the non-assist. I like the push button. Kind of looks like a toy. <laughs> the Ozark Trail Knife, you know. For the money, this is the best knife that you can get, <laughs> I think. I like the big fat blade on this thing, big old fatty blade. I like the, the it's got this like forced patina that they put on the blade, awesome. The deployment is not that smooth, but I think it will smooth up over time. It's got this little flipper nub and you do have to give it some, some effort to get it out there. So my worst in show, no doubt is this Gerber STL 2.5. This thing is a piece of crap. And Gerber, you know, it's more miss than hit with Gerber and me. I, I just, I, I know they're inexpensive, but they feel cheap. They feel actually cheap. And it looks like it's a nice little gentleman's, fold, gentleman's folder. But then you open it. Um, it is very difficult to open with one hand. The way that the pivot is placed and then the slot here for your finger is very, very difficult. It has unknown Gerber blade material, stainless steel. But here's the problem. Here's the ultimate problem with this. You can't unlock it. Um, at least I can't. There's people who probably can. And I had to actually take my little keychain pry bar earlier and, and use it to, to pull the liner lock out of the way to unlock it. So it's it's very much, if you, if you needed a gentleman's knife and you wanted to use two hands to operate the knife, this is a contender. Otherwise, it's garbage and stay away, stay far, far away. Cause And again, the harder it is to deploy and, and close the knife, I feel is the more dangerous the knife is. That's my personal philosophy. And lastly, kind of a, uh, a novelty, Kind of a uh, honorable mention is the Gerber Extenda Blade. This thing is just cool. It, it's funny because there is a world, right? There's a very real world where you use these utility knives, and they and you want them to be robust and 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 big, and just like this Milwaukee Fastback is. I love this thing. And then I also carry a knife, right? So I use the two utility knives and sometimes I have my, my knife. The extended blade exists kind of in between those two worlds. It wants to be a, a folding knife, but it doesn't want to give up its, you know, its roots of the, of the blue collar worker, right? But it, it's not, it's lost something in the translation and it just can't fill that utility role anymore. So, so what's the purpose of the knife? Uh, you know, frankly, I don't know. Um, I think they're cool. The size is is right. So, gosh, I don't know. You know, it, it's probably for your money. I pick one of these knives. Okay, your your BX three zero nine lock, the coast in the middle, the fastback by Milwaukee, or the Ozark Trail.
I guess it really just comes down to where you're shopping. If you're at Walmart, get the Ozark Trail. Get three of the Ozark Trails, and it'll equal the cost of one of these guys. Two of these, or, one, or three of these. So hey, maybe that's something for you. Maybe you just buy three of them. One in your car, one in your drawer, and one in your hip. And then there you go. I don't know guys, this is kind of a toss up. I'll let you guys decide in the comments what you liked most. Was it the, the Fastback, or the Ozark Trail, or the, the Coast? And let me know if you've uh, held or, or manipulated any of these knives. Really, it's gonna come down to personal preference on a lot of this stuff, and I appreciate that. That's why we don't need to do an exhaustive review of everything for all of these in one shot. It would be far too difficult. So look for upcoming singular reviews on each one of these knives. Okay guys, thanks a lot and take it easy.